To start working with Elementor, you need to create your first page. So, from the WordPress dashboard, under Pages, click Add New and give it a name. Then, click Add it with Elementor. To start with a clean page, go to the bottom panel and click the Page Settings icon. Under Page Layout, choose Canvas. This is the easiest way to create a full blank page, without a header and a footer. Exactly what we need for our landing page. Let's get familiar with the Elementor interface. On the right side is the editing area of the page. This is where you can add and edit elements that form the layout of your page. On the left side is the Elementor panel. Here are creative tools called widgets. You use widgets to add elements to your page, like headings or a text editor, images and videos, and much more. You can always access this area by clicking on the widgets icon here on the top right. On the top left, you have a hamburger menu where you have more options, like setting default colors and fonts, which saves a lot of time when designing your page. I've gone ahead and set the headlines and accent text to Sinzel with a weight of 200. The body text I set to Montserrat with a weight of 300. Just don't forget to apply your changes. Back in the hamburger menu, you can also click View Page to see your live website, or exit to Dashboard to go back to your WordPress dashboard. At the bottom is another panel with more key features, such as Page Settings, where you can give the page a name and choose a page layout like we did before. Here is the Navigator, which helps you get a clear and organized view of your page. Currently, it's empty because we haven't added any content yet. We'll use it later. Here, we can see our edit history to view recent changes. And next to it is the responsive menu for switching between screen modes. We can preview our changes and when ready to go live, simply hit the publish button. There are other save options as well, which I'll talk about later. Okay, great. Now let's take a closer look at how pages are built. There are two ways you can start. Let's begin with the library. Here you can preview Elementor's pre-made blocks and pages, as well as your own templates, and insert them into your page. I'll go ahead and insert this block so you can see. Elementor uses three main building blocks, sections, columns, and widgets. Sections are the largest and can be identified by their blue border, like you see here. Inside them are columns. In this case, there's one. You can identify them by the black dashed border. These columns house widgets, such as the texts and button you see here. You control the section, column, and widgets with their handle. To edit them, simply right-click their handle, where you can edit, duplicate, delete, and much more. The blue line indicates where it will be positioned when you let go. You can move them around by simply dragging and dropping them. Sections, columns, and widgets have three tabs in the panel on the left. Sections and columns have Layout, Style, and Advanced tabs. Whereas widgets have Content, Style, and Advanced tabs. Soon, we'll see how these settings are used to create our landing page. But first, I'll go ahead and delete this section, because we will create our landing page from scratch. Another way to add sections is by pressing the plus icon over here. Then, simply choose one of these preset structures, which we can tweak to our liking on the go. So let's dive in and start building our landing page. 